All right, Bones. Hey, Bones. Hey. Bones, you'll like this one right here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Love you, Bones. Love you too, man. Hey, I appreciate have, everything, man. Yeah, hell yeah, you too, man. Yeah. yeah, have fun today, man. Yeah, always. You love your coach, man. Bonesy, man, I love man. you too, brother. Man. That goes back a long time, man. Um, I, probably back in fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. I think it has to do with I was always a skinny kid. And then it took on, you know, fossil, you know, kind of has a little bit of the old fossil, F-O-S-S-I-L. So I think it's a combination of skinny, bones, fossil. Go! There you go. Run him. Run him. Out of baby. There you go. That's it. That's it, baby. That's pretty good. Been out of that thing. That's a pretty good football right there. I like it. <laughs> He's a great human being that has an unbelievable way of connecting with his players. All right, a lot of points on the table right here. And you see the way that they've consistently competed under his guidance and leadership. And when you're around people like that, there's just a charisma, there's a presence and enthusiasm that you can't help to say, man, I want to do the best for that guy and I don't want to let him down more than anything else. Love you, stud. Love you, stud. Got a great future, man. Got a great yeah. future ahead of you. I know it's been a grinder, but bright things coming for you. Love yeah. you, man. Bones is, he's awesome. He's a guy that has a ton of energy. There's not a day when you come in where you don't hear Bones with his little hee hee. The way he engages in the meeting room. All right, good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome to Dojo Friday. You know what they say in the dojo, right? Tis better to practice one kick 10,000 times than to practice 10,000 kicks one time. Oh. Since becoming the Raiders' special teams coach in 2009, John Fossil has had some of the best units in the league and has coached 16 Pro Bowlers. He has a track record of getting guys that were really, you know, low draft guys or undrafted and making them into starters through special teams. But he's probably best known for his sleight of hand. Ball starting out, Hector to throw it. And that is John Fossil again. He knows he has a punter that has a cannon for an arm. I played quarterback in high school. Just having that skill set, ran some fakes in college. Was fortunate enough to be picked up by Bones and the Rams that were a team that were very, very attacking in their special teams mindset and wanting to have a punter that was athletic and could throw it. Yeah, we sit literally in this room and it's not just me that comes up with it, it's myself, it's Johnny. He has probably as much, if not more, you know, ideas than I do. Zerline, our kicker, has them. Jake, our snapper, comes up with them. So let's face it, they know more than I do about what they see compared to what I see. Johnny Hecker got up and threw a pass into the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. John Fossil and the Rams catch the Seahawks napping. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Whoa! <laughs> Look at you girls flying! Bones is a father now, but it wasn't long ago he was standing at his dad's side. I was fortunate to grow up in a football house. I have much more appreciation for my wife and my kids, you know, having grown up as a coach's kid. You know, I spent a lot of years in the locker room. You know, I was standing on his sideline and I'd hold the red flag. Hey, challenge it, challenge it, challenge it, challenge it, challenge it, challenge it. I knew he wanted to be a coach. He loved it from the beginning when he was 10 years old. And it was fun to have him as a son because he loved what I was doing and he could be part of it. This was in New York. We played uh, Denver Broncos. They were undefeated and they were supposed to be pounded us and we beat them. I mean, we're very close and uh, he, uh, he always loved football. I could tell that. I mean, he loved football. And, uh, and it, you know, he, if I molded a guy, I would hold a guy like that. Witnessing him all those years doing what he does and then being in the building with them was, was pretty awesome. All the years of watching his father became valuable in 2016, when Jeff Fisher was fired. The Rams named the most beloved man in the building the interim head coach. Are you surprised that they came to you? Yeah. Why are you surprised they came to you? You know, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the dungeon working on special teams day and night, and that's all I do. And, you know, whether I'm ready for it or not, I'm going to kick ass, and I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I say it in the meetings 
a lot, and I don't curse, but I think that's one that I could probably get away with. <laughs> he said, I was on the sideline for you. I want you on the sideline for me. And I said, okay, buddy, I'm flying up there tomorrow. And uh, it, was, it was really touching. All right, man. All right, man. All right. Love you, Dad. Hey, have fun, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. We believe in you. Right on, man. We believe in you, bro. Thanks, man. Let's go, baby! Los Angeles lost their three remaining games. But when Sean McVay was hired as Rams head coach in 2017, he kept Bones on his staff. Well, he comes up with a lot of good plays. I said, hey, you don't ask for much, so whatever you do, you, <laughs> it would be silly of me not to listen. But I think really what you love the most about him is, is how fearless he is. You know, we always talk about being an attacking team. We never feel pressure, we apply it. And I think a great example of that is in the NFC Championship. 13 to nothing, New Orleans, they're about to get it back. Fourth down and five, Pecker will throw, right side, it's caught. Sam Shields makes a move to the outside and moves the chains up above the 30. The Rams special teams unit wasn't finished. So a 57 yard field goal attempt. And if Zerline hits this field goal, the Rams are going to the Super Bowl. The hold is down, the kick clears the line, and Greg Zerline sends the Rams to the Super Bowl! We're supposed to make kicks when called upon. We're supposed to punt and tackle, and we're supposed to convert fakes if called upon. So I just felt like, you know, we just did what we were supposed to do. Nothing really special, even though maybe, maybe we did, I don't know. But it was just cool to be in the Super Bowl and you know all the work that a lot of these guys had put in, you know, it was just all worth it, man.